What's up guys, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. In this video, we'll be looking at how to make a mute button in Scratch. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So, first, obviously, you need to choose a song. I chose a sound that uh, Scratch already has, um, where it says choose a sound. But anyways, we're going to go to code, and we're going to go to events and drag a wind green flag clicked, and go to control and drag a forever loop, and go to sounds, and drag the play sound until done. So this sound will play forever, and ever and ever and ever and stuff like that. So all we're going to do is go to variables and make a new variable called volume. And make sure this is for all sprites. So I'm going to duplicate this. And let's delete this block. And I'm going to drag the set volume to block. And we're going to set it to 100. Because we want the volume to be 100. So in the sounds category, we have this volume thing over here and we show it you can see that it's a uh, volume and if we're going to right click on the volume variable not this one the volume variable that we created that's for all sprites and as you can see we make it the slider so it will be like this now we can hide that and we're going to go to variables and drag a set um, we're going to go to sound and drag a set volume to volume variable. So we see to hear the song, but when we lower it, as you can see, we can lower it like that. All right, so let's see the second version. The second version is the button version, which is harder, but the slider version is easier. But I like the button version because um, it works better. So let's close. Let's delete this slider and delete this volume variable. And we're going to do the same code by just playing the song over and over and over and over again. All right. So next, we're going to go to events and drag a forever loop. I mean, a green flag and a forever loop. And then we're going to drag a if statement. So we want to check if we click this. So we're going to go to operators and drag and, and then sensing and drag a touching mouse pointer and mouse down on the left, on the right side. So next we're going to go to control and drag an if else statement. And we're going to go to operators and drag it equals and then variables. And we're going to create a new variable called, um, uh music on question mark because it's going to be true or false so make sure this is for the sprite only so we can drag this in here and make sure this is false so if music on is equal to false also we're going to set music on to true at the beginning because we want it to play so if music is false then we want it to turn on. Actually, we're going to make this um, true and we're going to make this false. So if, if it's on, then we want, and if we click it, then we want it to turn off. Else, which means it's off, if it's off, then we want it to turn on. So that would be true. So if we run this, as you can see, it's true, but we click it. It'll be false and then true and false and true. As you can see, it's glitching like this. So what we need to do is go to control and drag it wait until. And we're going to go to operators and drag it not. And sensing and drag it mouse down. So this way it won't glitch. And the music is not playing because I need to set it. All right, the music will now play because I set the volume to zero. So now I'm going to set it to 100. Okay, 
So the music's playing, and I click off, false, true, false, true. But the music is not turning off, so let's drag the set block. So if it's false, then we set it to zero to mute it. But if it's true, we set it to 100. So it's true, and then we mute it like that. And then we can unmute it, and then mute it again. And you can add special effects like brightness effect to like a normal button. And yeah, that's how you basically make a um, mute button and a mute slider. So this is a more complex way, but the other one is simpler. But I like this way because one, it's a button and not a variable. And sometimes variables can look ugly and not the way we want it to look. All right. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next Scratch tutorial. Peace out.